This is Drake keeps taking L's. Ghost Rider for mob ties exposed. So this is the the mob ties one, officially. The other one was just like it had a little 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 bit about it. But this is the mob ties one for sure. Boy, that man Drake just keep taking them L's, ain't it? <laughs> just keep taking them L's, bro. Cuz cannot win for losing, bro. Yeah. I mean, you know, I feel this may not even be what it looks like it is, man. But I came across this post on Instagram from a rap marathon. It says Drake goes viral after Vori's reference track from Mob Ties leaks. And seen that ever since I seen I wonder that, how it leaks. has been multiple posts I've seen now. I'm talking about the same shit, man. But um yeah. Another reference track has leaked from uh Drizzy. I saw on YouTube, bro. I don't, I don't wanna look I don't wanna look at it through IG bro. I gotta scroll through it. I'm gonna see exactly what they're talking about. Drop Drake Mob Ties reference track. Let's see the, the I don't know what you call this, bro. Like the timing of it, bro. Like if this shit is legit. Boy, I'll wait to see what it what we even talking about first. Say Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's actually just a song, okay. I don't know why I thought it was like some kind of video. Stick these niggas, stick these bitches. Hire shooter, you ready to bitch. And I'm on my rich. I turn up the bitch. I turn up the bridge. It is what it is, sure. Black push, cause I let my movie fast. Watch your homie if he movie on his ass. In the rocket, and that bitch ain't got no tax. Louis bags, in exchange for body packs. Yeah, who's this? Bro, this song is such a bop, bro. <laughs> hey, bop, my nigga, bro. And, uh, hey, he felt that shit too, bro. That's what I'm saying. That shit is a bop. Fuck. <laughs> that shit was good as fuck. I didn't expect that shit. What? Is, who is that, bro? Is that the nigga that uh, wrote for Drake, bro? I will say that uh, Drake's interpretation of this reference track is fire. Like, this, the song is just dope. I'm tired of fire as fuck. And yeah. I ain't even familiar with Vori, but clearly... I ain't gonna say clearly yet, cause I don't know if this is cat. Like I don't know, if somebody could just be making it seem like, you know. Yeah, it could be fake for real. The Ghost Riders, a reference track for this track. You know what I mean, that's definitely feasible and believable. To uh, you know what I am seeing, bro. I'm seeing a lot of uh, on YouTube is uh is or just like yeah yeah YouTube or just on social media people like uh you know underground people you know artists and shit like that they're putting like oh they're they're part of like this shit, you know what I mean? Or they they wrote for Drake or something like that. So they're popping out trying to like, you know, make a name for themselves in in the game with with uh, the artistry. I feel it though. I feel it. You know what I mean? Like you know, get get your spot in. You feel me? You know, you find your place. Like you know, find find your find your way in, bro. Like they're they're doing it, and it's a um it's a way that's not like harmony anything. You feel me? It's like oh, I wrote for Drake, and then you find out you didn't, and then it's like okay, who cares? Well, this shit was fire. Just like Vori, like if he didn't write for him, bro. I mean, the song is fucking good. I need to get this shit on Spotify or something. They like the timing of it, right? Like why would they just now drop this after the dismantling of Drake just took place, bro? This shit for real been, came out. Mob ties from what? That's from Scorpion, ain't it? I mean, yep. it don't surprise me if this shit legit. We gonna do some research after this, but I still wanna see what all this shit talking about. Science shit up. Really bitches. Fuck what it was. It is what it is. Yeah. And I'm with the shits. It is what it is. No, so tired. Yeah. I fought with a mob and I got ties. Yeah. They'll knock you off and pay their ties. Yeah. They want me going, but don't know why. Don't know why. Yeah. It's too late for all that hubby dub shit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you my brother shit. This is what I'm done giving it. I'm not with a rara. Yeah, I love the rara. I got another done dollar. Shout on the side of the house. That looks fire too. Stick these niggas. Hey, I'm stick these bitches. Sire shooter. Get rid of these bitches. I'm sick of these niggas. Hey, I'm sick of these bitches. I hire shooter. Get rid of these bitches. Yeah, I thought he was done. Oh, shit, he's still coming. Yeah. Yeah. No diddy. Hey, man. Um, hold on. Let's let's That's see. Good, let's bro. see first. 
Yeah, Drake goes viral after Vori's reference track Mob Ties leaks. Vori is a credited writer on the song and has also been credited for songs like Don't by Bryson Tiller Friends. It's insane how many songs this Drake made. Damn, that shit is blurry. Drake snapped way harder. I don't know, bruh. Hits, because if I heard Vori drop this, I wouldn't give it a second listen. Say, so give us credits. That shit still go, bro. But Drake's version of this shit is definitely better, bro. But Drake's ghostwriting drama has continued after what appears to be a reference track for Mob Ties made by Vori leaked online. The origin of the leak is not yet known, and neither Drake nor Vori have commented on its veracity. The Grammy nominated singer, who was a previous Drake, will be commenting on none of this song. Dream Tracer label has always been. Accredited co-writer on the track, but commentators such as academics have previously claimed that he did play in an integral role. The media personality said a voice credit on the song on the Rumble channel. He is credited, but he ain't write nothing. He is credited, but he ain't write nothing. I'm gonna tell you how I know he ain't write shit for Drake. Mob Ties was almost like a Toronto spitting. Remember when DJ Academics said he Vori is credited, but he ain't right nothing. Well, well, just another case of Drake stands being in denial and out of touch with reality. Drake mob ties is Vori mob ties. Hey, chat, do some fucking internet detective activity, bro. See if you can find a Vori <laughs> reference. Okay, he is credited, but he ain't right nothing, nigga. <laughs> Bro, oh, this nigga is crazy. Bro, he probably wrote the hook. Nigga, Girl. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why I know he ain't write shit for Drake, right? Cause most Yo. of this shit was almost like it, bro. This shit was almost like a Toronto nigga spitting, bro. Sick of these niggas, sick of these niggas, hide some help, get rid of these niggas. <laughs> move to the Ritz. Turn out the bitch. It is what it is. G and Lee moving uh, Hey chat, do some the the whole damn song. Song. <laughs> What does that mean? The thing is, bro, it's like for all the, the Drake stands or Drake fans, period, they don't give a fuck. I mean, At dog, all. clearly, like this ghostwriting thing has been following Drake. I already told you, bro. Since, really, since. What I tell y'all, bro, no one, no one don't give a fuck, bro. No one gives a fuck that Drake has ghostwriters because he's Drake. No one cares anymore. It's like back then when he first got revealed that he had one, that's when everybody cared what happened. Nothing. Everybody talked about it. What happened? Nothing. No one no one cared. It was just like, oh, okay, like, thanks for letting us know. <laughs> and then he continued on, making music. I guess uh, we thought he didn't have those writers anymore. And then now we found out he has more, more than ever, actually. And does anybody care? No, no one's on care, bro. No one's on care because it's Drake, so he can pretty much have 50 dose writers, and no one's going to say anything about it. But let, let's hear it. Uh... If he reading this, is too late, right? Yep. With Quentin Miller, like that narrative has been out there. He's been trying to run from it from the, for the longest, dog. But rappers, <laughs> respected rappers, revere rappers, the goats. You know what I mean? That's why Drake can never be considered in this goat conversation. I mean, ever now since <laughs> the K Dot situation. But but you having ghostwriters, you having and can't really fuck them up like, like that. Wayne don't have reference tracks. Eminem don't have reference tracks. Kendrick Lamar don't have reference tracks. Biggie don't have reference tracks. Lupe Fiasco don't have reference tracks. Pusha T don't have reference tracks. Andre Three Stacks don't have reference tracks. Andre Bro, and stacks. if they do a reference track, it's gonna be them on the goddamn reference track. Meaning that nobody out here is writing for these motherfuckers, dog. Ain't no ghost writers, period, bro. And if you don't write your own lyrics, you cannot be even considered on Mount Rushmore, King of the Hill type of conversations, dog. You a pawn. You a product. You have been built, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers out here the likes of Vori writing this shit, giving you the cadence, giving you the vibe of the motherfucking track, and then Drake, you just do this. Put your little twist on and you just do this. It's no different than goddamn Britney Spears going in the motherfucking studio, being led by a producer, telling him to fucking sing it this way. We're going to write this shit and give you this fucking product, dog. That's what Drake is, bro. Damn, straight up. <laughs> Fuck. And, you know, conveniently enough, in 2024, bro, like, you know, originality and authenticity do not matter as far as nope. uh, success, bro. It don't. You straight know what I mean? up. But it's not you. It's not you, bro. And Mob Ties is a fucking banger, bro. It don't even matter, though. 
It don't surprise me at all, dog. Like, it's, this is known. Maybe they we'll listen to it for real, but... What I'm interested I in is... I need the copyright strikes coat. early. Let me see how they uh, justify this. But like I say, they don't give a fuck, bro. Drake fans don't give a damn. They don't care that he don't write his shit. Uh, Y'all do know Drake has written for art artists like Jamie Foxx, Beyonce, Alicia Keys, Mary J, Rita Ora, and more, right? That's just how they... By the way, if you don't understand what the hell a retwist is, bro, this video may have found the wrong audience. But, anyway... This music industry go stop acting brand new drake snapped way harder that's a fact though drake did snap harder but like this don't fucking matter that ain't the conversation the conversation i'm trying to have is uh drake being on the top of the fucking mountain you, he cannot be considered one of the greats of hip-hop and you got people telling you how your record should sound giving you a reference track <laughs> new it don't work like that bro uh it's crazy that people still believe that one artist does everything the artist is just a face but best believe there's a whole team behind anything they do. The cope is real. <laughs> <laughs> the cope is real. Ain't Q, no, right? The NWA and Eze. -E. Every hot artist got songwriters. Learn the industry or don't be in it. Get over it. Can't call yourself the best to go, et cetera, and you ain't writing shit. Facts. It's not a ghostwriter if you credited him as a writer. It don't matter. Okay, writer. <laughs> what difference does it no, make? You can write a song saying poopy doopy potato nose, bro, and it don't even matter. And you, as long as you wrote that shit, bro, that's authentic as hell. Bro. That's real. You feel me? That that that's real spill. You feel me? Like that's that's realistic. That's bars, nigga. Like, you feel me? Poopy doopy potato nose. Like that's fucking written. I'm copywriting that right now. I don't steal my shit. You feel me? Like that that's fucking real. Writer means he's hidden. Writer means yeah. I got somebody writing my shit. That's authentic. It's still, it's still all points the same. Uh, points to the same place that you ain't write the shit. I'm glad Drake Drake made this better. This album came out in 2018. He was credited for it. What the fuck are we talking about there? LOL, move on. There's nothing wrong with being an international karaoke star. You are. Hold on. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being star? an international karaoke star. You're all haters. He's credited, haters. though. Don't matter. K dot killed. <laughs> don't matter. K dot killed him <laughs> regardless, bro. Wah, yeah, wah, you know what I'm saying? Wah, wah. It don't surprise me, bro. It don't surprise me. Why now, though, bro? Drake, that means Drake got hate hers, bro. <laughs> hate hers, dog. That's somebody in his camp. You know, I'm I'm making this exposed series just like this is just fun because like it's just something to watch and it's something for like just for entertainment purposes only. And like I don't know, if we find some real shit, you know, we find some real shit. But it's just it's funny just to to learn about some of the stuff that's been going on for years. And that's all. That's all this is. I don't hate Drake at all. Like, he's not like uh, to me in my eyes, he ain't bad yet. Like he had allegations, but I'm I'm waiting for the evidence. But so far, I mean, yeah, he did, I think he did lose uh, the battle with Kendrick. But other than that, I I don't think he's like other than that, there's nothing wrong. You know, what I mean, like he's still just there making Please, music. He's that shit now to, to, to make Drake <laughs> look even more suspect than it already is. He's be looking bro. crazy. You know what I'm saying? That has been the common theme throughout this. That uh, like even your, the ones supposed to be your homies, bro. The fu the futures, the Rosses, whomever was in the damn team to let this shit leak, right? He hell, K dot K dot fuck with Drake at one point, bro. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers is not yeah, he, he fucking did. with Drake, bro. <laughs> they ain't. Um, but yeah, yeah not anymore. But that is uh, Drake keep taking L's. Ghost Rider from Mob Ties exposed. That was Stevie Knight. Mm -hmm.